What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today we're going to be looking at the Meek Mill Blue Notes track. What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Today we're going to be looking at Meek Mill's Blue Notes track and what I have for you sounds a little something like this. Alright, now first things first, don't bother me in the comments and ask me for the sample. I can't give you the sample. Um, I also can't play you the original track because I don't want copyright strikes on my stuff. Um, it's the reason why I don't do a lot of sampling videos on YouTube. I do a ton of them on the premium channel, studio1tutorials.com. Um, this one right here, I just decided to uh, bump the pitch up from the original. If you're interested in knowing what the sample is, just go to whosample.com and it, it literally it's like the first um featured sample up up there and all you got to do is pitch it up two semitones find this loop right here and just time stretch it a little bit um so that it so that it loops to the eight bars this is a really simple um sample loop that all they did was they just looped up the record and um played these drums and a bass line over them i like this drum pattern it's an eight bar um drum pattern in double time meaning that the snares are on the three beat of every bar instead of the two and the four so it gives you that type of um that type of down south or trap bounce but i like this drum pattern um because it's not just a simple one bar um or two bar kick pattern repeating over and over it really kind of grooves and moves with with the original sample i'm going to go ahead and upload this midi to the uh dropbox for for the premium members if you guys are interested in dissecting this a little bit more what i wanted to talk about um about this sample is just a couple new techniques that i've been using in, in my previous sampling tutorials um you guys have seen me use melodyne to find the key for the sample i found a track that um a plugin that is a lot easier than melodyne and i really and i really love it i think you guys will get into it too i think it's only like 29 or 39 bucks it's it's from uh it's from hornet and it's called song and key or song key mk2 and this thing is awesome because all you got to do is is insert it as a um as an insert effect onto uh, onto the channel that you want to detect the scale of the song and what it'll do is it'll give you a percentage probability of what the key of the song is and then on top of that if you follow along up here as the um as the audio is playing it will give you the chords that are being played too so you can so you can you know take a pa pad and paper and just write down the uh, chord progression real quick and and really just um you know any song that you enjoy the chord progression of you can have it using this um method and it's really easy um to kind of build a lexicon of different chord progressions that you enjoy um that work for you to to you to start as um having a you know a starting point for a bunch of different songs so uh, let me show you guys this plugin in action let me just solo this See, so it gives you the chords here. And then it's giving us a key estimation saying there's a 42% chance that this is B minor, which is, you know, once you know that, then you can go ahead and set your scale up, go ahead and play your bass over the top of it. And it makes everything um, really easy. The snare, the kick and the snare for this, I used the uh, Trap Legends. Uh, Mafia kick um, is very similar to what they had and this snare right here This is just your um, you'll find this in a lot of kits as you know a Lex Luger snare That is pretty much the same exact snare that the producer used the hi-hat 
pattern um, during this section right here. The hi-hat pattern is the same repeating um, two bar loop over and over again. And it's just an eight bar uh, straight hat where they took and they chopped um, these sections right here into 16th triplets. And then the one before the second snare, they, they ch chopped it into 32 note triplets. And they just went ahead and duplicated that over and over again. And that's a, this is a really solid hi-hat pattern. I've, I've actually used this exact same hi-hat pattern on a bunch of my beats. It just, it just rides, man, I love it. There's a second section of this song that I did that I didn't go over that has a um, that has a bass line to it, and then they switch out to um, acoustic drum samples, which I thought was really dope. Um, from the original song, I, I, I really liked how they took you know these uh, you know these cheesy, dirty trap song, trap drums, and then mixed it with more of an acoustic, like soulful type of vibe. And it, it just goes to show you when you know when you're trying to create something new, you know, don't be afraid to experiment with different with different samples and different sounds. You know, um, you know, I had, I, I, dude, I've had situations where, and this is why you don't want to listen to a lot of producers when you get feedback on your music too. Um, I, I had a situation with somebody I looked up to and I was mixing, um, like 808 sounds with acoustic kicks and they were like nah bro that's the that's not how you mix drums dude like you don't want to use acoustic sounds with 808s like only use synthetic drums bop 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 long story short um travis scott hit and uh wonder girl hit with their production and they do a lot of that and um i noticed um you know after famous people did it uh, this person started using it in their tracks and it's just like the fuck well so you gotta really like um go after what sounds good to your ear and trust your own intuition because i just believe you have good taste um the other thing that i wanted to show you guys about this track um in in you know in, in just this uh, simple of a tutorial is one um because this sample has um so much so much going on in the back with the guitar p playing the forefront and then it's got that um roads layered in with the organ you don't really need to add a lot of stuff on top of it you know so i personally like when i sample i like to play music over top of it but sometimes when you have you have something like this and it's such a good um guitar melody sometimes you just need to leave it alone and you know just get some good drums and a, and a really good rapper and that'll take care of the rest because this is really soulful The other thing I want to mention is when you're doing a track like this that has um, a such a long section without a bass line, you want to make sure that your kick is handling business in the subsection. So what I mean by that is you want to make sure that you are not afraid to EQ that kick and go ahead. I use the um, I use the Pro E kick for this one and I just um, boosted up around. Um, it's like 39, 40 hertz is where you want to work. It just went up about 4 dB. And when you listen to it without this, without this little boost, you will definitely hear the difference in the knock. hear how much more present it is because this this sample we're not really we're not doing nothing crazy like we're not putting it through filters or rolling off a bunch of lows or rolling off a lot of the highs you're letting the original music and all of its low end do what it's supposed to do really maintaining the overall feel of this track um which when it comes to sampling sometimes you just need to get a great loop you don't need to go crazy um you know um re-chopping it and putting it through filters uh and sometimes you just you just catch a really nice loop man and it works with some drums um 
it's not something it's not something that I personally do all the time. But if it happens, I don't fight it, you know, and you shouldn't either. So basically what you want to take away from this tutorial is to make something like this, you really want to um, you really want to dig and make sure that you get yourself just a really great soulful loop. Um, don't try to do too much with with the drums and make sure if you're doing something that has a long section without a bass line so that you wind up uh, getting something that's nice and full and something that really knocks like this track does, you want to make sure that you you make this little boost um in the subs of your kick because you're going to be missing uh that sub frequency that you would normally have taken up by an 808 or by a sub bass or by a synth bass and um don't forget to check out this plugin man i mean it's really cheap um it's a great alternative to melodyne for finding the keys of the songs and helping you train your ears so this is concrete zebra with Craftmaster productions studio one tutorials.com get yourself a premium membership if you're interested in more in-depth sample tutorials keep it simple don't be basic and we'll see you on the next one one.